It's Friday night and you've got nothing better to do which can mean only one thing. It's time for Since the Last Show, the number one news segment covering the already heavily discussed to things we blatantly made up with your hosts, Zach Wynn and Emily Alexander. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, everyone. And welcome to Since the Last Show. Man, can you believe it was February last time we had a show? No, and the weather sure can't either. <laughs> it's warm today, damn it. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Well, let's get right into it. In international news, things still suck. Putin had a guy killed. ISIS, ISIL, or whatever the hell they're going by now are still doing bad things in various countries. There are still diseases. China is still horribly polluted. And more importantly, Britain has started using glowing tampons in order to test water quality. All right. Um, well, the explanation is apparently science-y, but basically tampons are good at absorbing liquids for some reason. I don't know. Gross or gross. Um, <laughs> they, are, they are a cheap method and are being looking to be more widely employed. The U.S. has expressed concerns over the more cost-effective method, as it will be hard to tell whether the tampon was used to test water quality or if Nicki Minaj is on her period. <laughs> Can we just skip international news? It's, it's depressing. <laughs> because, you know, national news is so much better. <sighs> yeah, well, you know, the Oscars were all abuzz with that controversial black and blue dress. But it was white and gold. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! No! Yeah, but, uh, look at this picture and tell me it's not white and gold. Alright. It's not white and gold. It's blue and black. Oh my god. Okay, well, in other news, Ted Cruz has announced his candidacy for president. <sighs> All I want is a reasonable candidate. Reasonable! What's unreasonable about Ted Cruz? Look, when Liberty University students have to be threatened with fines for not attending his I'm running for president speech, it says something. Liberty University, Emily, all right? The home of sex offenders before they can send them to CNU. The home of... Yeah? The home of anti-masturbation. The home of... Okay, okay. But what's so bad about him? Well, for one, he thinks Common Core is set federally. They're set by the states, Emily. The states. You know the one thing the president isn't in charge of, Emily? It's the states! It is state law! Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Alright, alright. Well, in other news, people still aren't vaccinating their children. Uh, you know, after all, everyone can understand the perfectly reasonable desire to protect your child from a one or an a billion, or even less likely chance to get those side effects at the cost of exposing them and everyone around them to horrible, preventable, deadly, debilitating diseases. Nice alliteration. Thank you very much. In incredibly important news, there. Zayn Malik left One Direction. <laughs> Star Wars character turned pop star was quoted as saying, Episode 7 is going to rock, trust me. Also, being in a boy band kind of sucks when you want to be an actual human being. <laughs> that the pop star slash dark lord of the Sith would have ambitions other than whining into a microphone. Continuing in music news, Avril Lavigne has been laid up for months with Lyme disease. This finally confirmed with all fear. Cannabis people are almost so polite because they've made everything else suck more. The weather, the insects, their money. Oh my god. But they have donuts. They have great donuts. Long live Tim Hortons. <laughs> Well, in Fifty Shades of Grey news, Jamie Dorner recently confessed to stalking a woman in order to prepare for his next role where he plays a serial killer. Since he is a rich white man, he faces no consequences for his incredibly creepy actions. This also confirms rumors that he beat the hell out of a woman in order to prepare for Fifty Shades. <laughs> in all fairness, it is a consensual meeting, and who are you to judge? Anna and Christian's love story is beautiful. Um... <laughs> No. <laughs> no. So in way more manly, awesome news, WrestleMania happened this Sunday! So here to talk about the big night is wrestling enthusiast, Diesel! <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be here, chumps! Chumps? Well, yeah, you guys are pretty beauty. Dude, I'm pretty sure I could take you. But could you take new U.S. Champion John Cena? Well, actually, let's talk about that. One of the big headlines from the night was John Cena has a hand in Rusev his defeat in the WWE and winning back the U.S. title. It was a big setback from the rat for the Reds, but thankfully Obama did what he should have did years ago and put.
deployed America's best soldier, John Cena, to Putin Putin in his place. I'm talking about Russia's relationship with the WWE. Everyone knows that Rusev has been working for the Reds for years, but now John Cena has safely put the U.S. title back on American soil. Oh, but you know that stuff isn't real, right? Like, I'm looking at Wikipedia right now. Rusev's real name is Miroslav Barnshev, and he's not even Russian, he's Bulgarian. That guy's Putin, man, through and through! I mean, dude, I love it too, but like, come on. You gotta know it's not real, but like, it's just common knowledge. The only common knowledge I have is that if Barack Obama's a true American, he'll do the only reasonable thing. Challenge ISIS to a no holds barred Extreme Rules match at Baruch SummerSlam! Does follow this? I think so. So just, you're saying, just to be clear, you want to wrestle ISIS at SummerSlam. Yeah, bro! Three-way tag team match! Me, John Cena, and The Rock! Let me ask you a question, Zach. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Give him the chair for me, dude. Give him the chair. I will. Okay. I hate to point out the obvious diesel, but uh, you're just a short fat guy. People said the same thing about Andre the Giant. Nobody said that about Andre the Giant. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Undertaker! That's the Undertaker! He's he's out for revenge! I stole this from him! Oh god! Oh god! I gotta get out of here! Good luck! Oh! <laughs> Bye, Diesel! Yeah, I know something. Look, I just wish I could have met the Undertaker. I've been waiting to get that dude's autograph since I was like six. He's just the best, so awesome. Tombstone pile drive his way right into my heart. <laughs> Turning campus news. All right. <laughs> I mean, student success for me? What the hell is that No one's sure and no one cares. Well, that's almost done. Cool. But don't worry yourself too much, folks. The green fences will be relocating as construction begins on the new James River extension, the new Commons extension, the other new extension, as well as the colonization of the Hidenwood shopping plaza. <laughs> it's I true. Yeah. Well, I don't think they're putting green fences up. Well, they should. The only way I can enjoy a Zuri's delicious pizza more is if it was served around a green fence. <laughs> In other campus news, this year's graduating class has been informed of who their commencement speaker is. It's a woman. Early reports are indicating that next year's speaker will actually just be a spiral cut ham in an effort to increase transparency in the administration. <laughs> People will take your degree from CNU very seriously. <laughs> a brief outroar broke out on campus as President Tribble was overheard threatening to implement a four-year residency requirement if budget concerns weren't addressed. Also overheard at the same lunch was a conversation regarding beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you do. <laughs>
make students understand the Great Lawn is for looking at, not standing on. <laughs> <laughs> well, what other kind of decisions do you make? Well, I was one who thought the clock tower should chime every 15 minutes. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I know. Literally dozens of people are injured every year by icicles in the U.S. But I decided to put the students' education first. I'm surprised every student on campus didn't get a bronze star for their exceptional valor in the face of melting icicles. What a great insight into the inner workings of campus. Thank you for your time, Dean. A relatively minor but still incredibly infuriating decisions. You're very welcome. Good night. <laughs> Be sure to come back next year, where we'll still be giving you the news long after it's happened. <laughs> With a probable five month or so break between this show and the next, there will be lots of stuff we'll act like we didn't miss. Until that time, you stay classy seeing you. <laughs>